Hello there, this is Coin Metallurgist. And uh, earlier this week, uh, I went through $400 of quarters um, and didn't find any silver uh, coins in any of the rolls. Um, so I've decided that I'm going to do a little experiment. Um, my sample size is going to be fairly sm small, uh, but what I'm going to do is over the next uh, month or so, I'm going to uh, get uh, boxes of quarters, half dollars, uh, dimes, and nickels, two boxes of each uh, from uh, my local bank, and I'm going to search uh, the rolls of these boxes to see if there are any uh, silver coins. Um, the the bank that I get coins from uh, has their rolls done by Loomis, uh, so that's the company that, that packaged all of these coins. Um, and there's two things that I want to determine with this experiment. Uh, the first thing is if we can determine uh, if a roll has silver in it by the roll's weight. So the way this works uh, is uh, before I open any of the rolls, I will uh, weigh them on a scale. I'll take an empty uh, coin wrapper and I'll tear that weight from the scale and then I will weigh the full roll. So the so for example with the quarters a silver quarter is 6.25 grams and a clad quarter is 5.67 grams. So a roll that has 40 clad quarters will weigh 226.8 grams. If there's one silver quarter in that roll, it will weigh 227.4 grams, just a tiny bit more. So theoretically, we should be able to determine if that roll has a silver coin in it just by the weight. Hypothetically, uh, I don't think this will work. Um, I hope it will, but I'm not confident um, because if we have you know, a couple quarters in this roll that have uh, some goop on them or something on them that make them a little bit heavier, then we might, oh, think this roll has silver in it. Or if we had a, sil a couple silver coins in this roll, uh, but they were worn down to where they didn't weigh the 6.25 grams anymore, then we wouldn't uh, set it aside to say it has silver. Um, so whether the rolls, uh, the weight of the roll uh, makes us think there's a silver coin in it or not. I'll open them all and look through all the coins to see if there's any silver. Um, so uh, the area that I live in is the metropolitan uh, area of Denver, Colorado. And so I'm going to run this whole experiment here uh, with, the, with the coins that I can get from my local bank uh, to see if I can get silver coins uh, from these rolls. Um, from my experience, I don't think that it's likely that I'll get many. Um, so it might be possible, uh, but it's not reasonably plausible to search uh, rolls from the bank to get silver coins. And then uh, later next month, um, I will be visiting my wife's family in uh, Idaho. And uh, if, if I'm able to, I'm gonna try to duplicate this experiment, uh, getting two rolls of half dollar, two boxes, of half dollar rolls, two boxes of quarter rolls, two boxes of dime rolls, and two boxes of nickel rolls to search through them there to determine if possibly um, it's more likely to find silver there. Um, if you live in some other area and would like to maybe try uh, doing this same experiment, we could look at uh, different areas in the United States and see if there are certain areas where it's easier or harder to find silver coins uh, in rolls from the bank. Um, so this is the first part of this video. I'll make probably uh, a individual video for each uh, box that I open and that I look through, letting you know what I have found. Um, I hope you watch uh, these videos and we can learn together. Um, if it's possible to figure out if a roll has silver in it by the weight and if it's uh, plausible to uh, be searching bank rolls for silver coins. Thank you.